Welcome back, everybody, to our latest installment of the Read to Me TT bedtime series. Uh, I hope you guys are ready for uh, a really fun read tonight. Richard, can you tell me what the um, the book is called? Uh, the book is called uh, Chichi in Paradise. It's by Carol Mitchell. Uh, it's illustrated by Anne Catherine Liu, and it's been published by the Caribbean Reads. Hi to Amanda. I think my um, my nephew, or Louis in Canada, is is um, listening as well. So hi, Louis. Yes, I just saw some of my uh, fam my family in Diego Martin, and mm. Simon is logged on from Simon Road. <laughs> okay, okay. So um, just to tell everybody who I am, um, I'm Robert DeGans. I'm a digital um, strategist over at McLaren. Um That means I help people decide where to put their ads online. Um, Richard, what about you? Uh, I work in the healthcare field. Uh, okay. I specifically work on innovation and uh, telemedicine. It's a field where um, I train and create programs where doctors and nurses and hospitals can use technology to to, to treat patients from a distance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's actually quite um, rampant, uh, or it's, it's, it's ramped up right now because of the uh, COVID-19 challenge. Of course, I'd say that'd be very important. I know... I know the past few weeks, everybody has been um, tough. It's had us inside, but you know, we are, we're really all doing our part by doing nothing, by staying inside and helping flatten the curve. So you know, kids remember that this is part of what you can do to help, yeah. just stay inside. I just saw uh, Alexander right. Paddington and his family are on, so we have to pick them up in New York. <laughs> oh yes, yes indeed. Um, Nika, is that, am I saying it right? Yes, both myself and Richard are into martial arts. Yes. Um, I'm a black belt in judo, and you are purple dragon, if I remember correctly. I, I trained in uh, Trinidad, and I train in uh, New York right now. So I'm okay. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Um, okay, I mean, let's let's give the people a, a couple more minutes to to filter in. But, I mean, kids, have you, have you brushed your teeth? Are you ready for bed? Have you washed your hands? You know, most importantly. Yes, most definitely. Uh, I think uh, what we have here right now, this 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 platform here, it kind of helps all mm -hmm. the kids kind of come together during this kind of crazy time. So for me, I'm really excited about this. Yeah, Sim yeah. Simone Woni is in bonsai. Um. Oh, she's mocking. <laughs> okay. That's my oh, game. So I see. I see. I plan doing karate kid. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, you want to kick it off? Let's um, let's start the the story. Yeah, sure. So, so just to remind you guys, we're we're reading Chi Chi's Adventures, Book One, Chi Chi in Paradise, by Carol Ann, Carol Otley Mitchell, and illustrated by Anne Catherine Liu. Yes. So, sure, if you want to kick us off, certainly. So, Chi Chi is a vervet monkey. He lives in the beautiful island of St. Kitts, and he lives with his six sisters and brothers, seven, if you count the newborn baby, still hanging on under mommy's tummy. Chi Chi and his brothers always traveled together and looked out for one another. Once, the oldest brother, Mo, slipped down a drain pipe and hurt his paw while the other monkeys were playing hide and seek. Chi Chi lowered his long tail into the hole to pull more out. Another time, Chi Chi ran through a kosher bush, and John John, his br younger brother, spent hours pulling spikes from the bush out of Chi Chi's fur. It was the brother's job to look for food for the rest of the family. Vervet monkeys like insects, flowers, nuts, and leaves, but their favorite food is fruit. They love mangoes, sour sup, bananas, guava, and golden apples. But these fruits were sometimes hard to find. Much of the delicious fruit was in gardens behind tall walls and fences. The walls and fences were not a problem for monkeys. They could climb over anything. The problem was the dogs. Everyone seemed to have a dog roaming in the yard, and they would chase away the monkeys if they try to enter the gardens. Chi Chi and his brother had heard one of one of one house where there was no such problem. 
the garden had many fruit trees, at least 20 of them, and many of the monkeys' favorite fruits. All year round, there was something blooming. They heard that no one lived in the house, no human and no dogs. Ma and John John did not really believe that it existed. But every day, Chi Chi searched for this house. He was sure he would find it one day. And so he did, quite by chance. It was a very hot Sunday. Too hot for the monkeys to play their usual games. Chi Chi was bored. And so, in his mind, began to work. He needed a new adventure. He said to his brothers, let's go exploring somewhere we've never been before. Moi yawned. It's too hot to go out. I will stay here and get Mama to give me a bath. Chi Chi looked at John John. You come in? He asked, walking off as he said it, knowing that his younger brother would follow or as he always did. The brothers wandered through the high grass just outside their territory and found themselves on a road that they had never seen before. They spotted a tree inside a garden fully laden with soursops. Hi, Tyler. The house had a dog, but she had taken refuge from the heat under the green stems of a thicket of ginger lilies and was fast asleep. Chi Chi and John John could hear her snoring softly. Chi Chi whispered to John John, Cover me. I'm going in. Call out if she wakes up. John John cried out softly, No, Chi Chi, it's too dangerous. But Chi Chi had already left. He quickly scaled the wall and scampered through the garden and looked up in the soursop tree. He sat there eating one, then another, of the ripe but firm fruit. John John waited outside, watching the sleeping dog. And after a while, John John grew tired of waiting for Chi Chi. He went closer to the gate to get him to hurry up. The monkey's scent drifted into the dog's nostrils, and she woke up. She jumped to her feet and barked a warning. Don't even think about coming in here. John John called out in panic, but it was too late. The dog had smelled Chi Chi and was running towards the tree in which Chi Chi was hiding. The dog barked and jumped as high as she could, snapping at Chi Chi. The tree was not very tall and the teeth, the dog's teeth were dangerously close to Chi Chi's paws. Chi Chi looked around and saw the garden next door on the other side of the wall. He thought, if I leapt from this tree to the wall and just quickly from the wall into the tree on the other side, I might escape. I, I just might escape. It was a long leap, but Chi Chi knew he could do it. He took a deep breath, made the jump, and escaped into the other garden. And he sat in the tree listening. He heard no dogs and no humans, he was all alone. All he could hear was his own heart beating. Then it hit him. I found it, he shouted. I found our paradise. Chi Chi roamed freely around the unkempt garden, choosing his fruit. It was even better than he imagined. Ripe mangoes, sweet gorbas, huge soursop and pawpaw, all at his fingertips. And the smell was delightful. There was even a broken jar that was filled with water. Chi Chi put his head in for a drink and almost fell in. <laughs> the longer Chi Chi stayed, the more excited he became. He couldn't believe that he had never found this garden before. Finally, he remembered. John John was waiting for him near the other garden and he decided to leave. Chi Chi took some fruit under his arms for his brothers, and he ran to the front gate, jumped over the wall, and leapt over. Zoom! A car rushed past just a few inches from Chi Chi's nose. <laughs> Chi Chi screeched in fright and jumped back onto the wall. He was too terrified to think. 
When he finally calmed down, he peeked over the wall and saw a busy road in front of the house. Large trucks, buses, and cars rode, roared back and forth on the road. To make things worse, the dogs in the house on the left had noticed the monkey and were barking furiously. On the right side, another dog was barking, and an elderly man had come out of the house. He had a long, thick stick in his hands, and he shook it at Chi-Chi. Chi-Chi looked all, looked all around him, to, to the left, at the, at the three dogs, and to the right at another dog and a human. And in the front was a busy street. He thought of his brothers waiting for him at home and made a decision. He took a deep breath and jumped, toward the wall, jumped over the wall towards the traffic, staying as close to the side of the road as possible, his tail high in the air and running faster than he had ever had in his life. He scampered home. So we will be catching up with a brand new, or the continuation of the, the Chi Chi series soon. Uh, this is where we will wrap up. Thank you guys for having us so much. Kids, did you like what, did you like that story about Chi Chi? Do you want to hear more from Chi Chi? I see uh, Tyler, say hi Tyler. Hi Sheldon, hi Simone, and everybody's there. Hi Mel. Hi. Hi, Britt. Hi, Britt. Now, kids, I hope you haven't fallen asleep already, mm -hmm. but it's very important to wash your hands. Yep. Right? Remember to keep your hands out of your mouth and remind mommy, daddy, granny, and everybody to wear their masks if they're going out. Mm -hmm. And even when you're washing your hands, we have to also remember to sing the, the happy birthday song in our mind twice. Um, that's very important so that you, you get all in between your hands, your thumb, the fist, all right? Uh, you can even make a game out of it, right? And we all can do this. Why? Because we are all in this together. So? Guys, I just want to say, so happy birthday to Nova. Oh, yes, that's my mom. Happy 69. <laughs> right, right. Um, good night to... Louis and Jake, we're listening, and Evan. Yes, Sheldon, Laura, the Paddington, oh, God. Simone, the Caminos. I'm seeing a lot of people here. All right, so. Uh, Guys, thank you so much for having both of us, myself and Richard. And stay tuned to Read, me T Read to Me TT so that we can... Um, Continue Chi Chi's adventures tomorrow. Brilliant. And enjoy some new readers tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.